Back well, mortgage holders hoping for an interest rate cut may need to wait a little bit longer. That's all because the inflation is remaining stubbornly high. It's not in that target band yet, and it was up just slightly, 3.6% in the month of April. Joining me now is independent economist Chris Richardson. Chris, uh, great to see you. It is uh, remaining high, but it's not going uh, up again uh, dramatically. But what does this all mean for interest rates? The market uh, has reacted rather dramatically this morning in terms of when we could expect another cut. Do you think that's about right? Um, I certainly think it's going to be a long wait uh, for any interest rate cut uh, in Australia. I don't expect a hike. Uh, right now, the Reserve Bank really doesn't want to change rates in either direction. Uh, it's got a high bar. It's going to need substantial evidence one way or the other uh, to shift. Um, but broadly, that message coming out of markets, and, and you know it, it continues to get worse, um, but it's been a trend that has not been our friend for a while. Uh, markets keep saying uh, that it will be a long time uh, before rates fall in Australia. OK, so they might not fall, but will they go up? Um, I would hope not. So inflation is what the Reserve Bank is fighting with interest rates, and inflation comes down to, you know, too many dollars chasing too little stuff. Uh, now, right now, that implies a bit of a tug of war. You look at what families are spending, and they are really pulling back. You know, retail sales, housing, construction, um, all sorts of weakness. Uh, in the economy, but there is strength in government spending. We're getting tax cuts. We're getting state and federal governments uh, raising their spending. Um, the question now becomes, as governments give money to families, how much of that will families spend? Yeah, that's a really good question because we've got the energy uh, rebate coming. We've also got those tax cuts, as you mentioned. So when you look at that and, you know, the Treasurer didn't have a, a crystal ball when he um, made these um, assumptions, but he was very bolshy on what he thinks the target inflation uh, band, well, when we might reach that. And he says by the end of the year. After these figures yesterday, is that looking like a harder and harder timeline to actually keep to? Uh, so the measured headline inflation may well reach uh, the target band uh, in a matter of months. Um, it's not what the Reserve Bank is going to respond to. Mm. Uh, you know, basically, the government or, or governments, state and federal, are buying a reduction in that measure. Um, but that's not the same thing as saying, uh, you know, buying an interest rate cut out of the Reserve Bank. In fact, it goes the other way. All we are doing is tipping extra money into an economy that already has a bit too much money chasing too little stuff. Um, to be clear, you know, uh, that market view that you mentioned uh, off the top, that we just don't get a rate cut for a long time, I think that is the most likely outcome of where we are. Chris, what's going on in the economy at the moment? Can you break it down for us? Because we see retail sales are falling. Small business are, are saying, yeah, people are spending less. Um, so when you look at those um, core inflation um, markers, if you like, these are all necessities. People can't really stop spending on those. So how does inflation ever get into that range where the RBA will see a cut? Uh, now is going to be a quick reminder of why you hate economists. One way <laughs> or another, the screw has to tighten enough of, so that we pull back on the other spending, the stuff that we can more readily pull yeah. back on, so that the ongoing inflation in the stuff that, uh, you know, is out of our hands, immediate things like rent, uh, things like uh, insurance, education, um, that the combination of everything... Uh, comes uh, into the range that the Reserve Bank would like to see in an underlying sense. And, and that, you know, that big question, all right, families are, are getting truckloads of dollars arriving on the 1st of July, five weeks uh, from now. How much will they spend? Don't forget, we know that on average, Australian families are spending 97 cents in the dollar of their income right now. Uh, they need to save quite a lot of this new money for it uh, to, to be a successful juggle, if you like, on the inflation and, and interest rate front.